Welcome, welcome to today's episode of Crafting with Anna. Yay! Cue applause. Um, hi, so here I am, and here's my mess. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this morning I was thinking it would be pretty cool to try something I haven't done in a while, but I used to do several a lot, actually, and it's a process that um, I first learned about from... I think it was Effie Wild who did what she called Journal Jam. She basically had a list of prompts and she has them in a box and they're all different kinds of prompts, like things that you can do to your journal if you don't know what to do. And so you just kind of pull out a prompt. Maybe you pull all three or maybe you pull one at a time and you uh, work on those one at a time and you add the layers and you do that as you go along. So I thought today would be really fun to try that again. Just do it kind of live on the camera because then I'm not worrying about what am I going to do and who wants me to do what and is this fun and is anybody enjoying this or anything like that. I'll just pull some prompts and play. And then if you're here and you want to comment, feel free. I'm going to try to keep my eye on the comments. It's kind of hard to, my setup for this is not intended for there to be a, um, me to be standing up while I'm working, but I can't see the comments if I'm not looking at my phone. I can't see them on my, uh, on my tablet. It doesn't show up. So I'm going to try to work this way, standing up and maybe eventually I'll get a different setup with either a different, uh, overhead camera thing or a different table where I can stand up and work. But, um, so I have my, and the problem is I have these really cool cards I made a long time ago. I used to do, I did all these, um, I have these old cards. I got this deck of cards from, um, Goodwill and they're weird. They're like coats of arms, but they're playing cards, but they're nice because they're, they're like, cardstock they're not they're not shiny so they actually work really well for using them as sort of a medium background for collage so for a while there I was using them to collage and I have a whole bunch more than this I just can't find them and I actually put prompts on those other cards so that I would have a whole deck of really cool cards to pull from for my prompts but I cannot locate them at this moment because I haven't used them in a while and so you know, real life is that sometimes you can't necessarily find everything that you need, but that's fine. Um, I actually have, this is my low-tech way of, well, this other one's low-tech also, but, um, oh, and also I wanted to mention that. I'm talking about low-tech. about low tech. Um, My son figured out that there's an app. It's actually a spinning wheel, like a wheel of fortune wheel. And uh, he and you put your own prompts in it. And so he did it where he did like the different racetracks from NASCAR or something. So when he's playing a video game, he can pick which which racetrack he wants to play with. But or different people. But um, I thought it would be neat to do that same app and put in some journaling prompts or art journal prompts or mixed media prompts. It doesn't have to be journaling. It just can be making art and prompts. And so... Um, put those in there and then just have it it randomize how you pull it. So you can pull them this way where you're, you have these printed and you just pull some out. So I'm gonna get started here. And I think I'm gonna pull three because that gives me a little bit more direction. It's easier if I pull a color to know what color I'm gonna use along the way. So here's the first one. Grunge it up with black paint or gesso. Okay, that's number one. There are a whole bunch of different prompts here. Wavy shapes, yay! I need to get myself some sound effects. Try not to look. Add a word. Okay, I'm gonna put one more. Mr. Whiskers is here with me. And I will admit that I have a box somewhere of the ones I've used. I stored those someplace else because um, once I used them, I didn't want them to be mixed in again. I mean, I could, you could totally do that. Dots, okay, perfect. So those are the four prompts I'm gonna use for this session today. I do have a timer already set up on my watch so that we are going to just 
work with what we've got. It didn't pull a color, which is kind of a bummer, but you can actually set it up if you really want to. You can set it up so that you purposefully pull. You have different groups. Maybe you have a group that's your box of tool of tool words and you have your box of colors and that way you pull out a color and you pull out a tool and you know that way you're working from something that's not just random completely if you want to put a little bit of of um, order to your chaos which I never do so okay so first I think we're gonna do this is the background that I chose to do it's already done it's purple because it fits in with my purple theme for the month so I think let's add some wavy shapes. Let's see what we're going to do to add some wavy shapes. You know, maybe we won't, maybe, no, maybe, you know what? Maybe we'll do some black first. Maybe we'll do black first. Let me get my black. Um, hey there, Mr. Whiskers. How are you feeling today? You feeling like joining us today? All right. I'm going to use some, um, do I have, no, I don't. Pardon me while I dig through my stuff. What's this one? I think this is a Payne's Gray. Will that count as black? What do you guys think? Um, I mean, it's my rules, right? I can do whatever I want. I can do what I want. It's my, it's my, I make it up as I go. It's my rules. Grunge it up with some black paint. Okay. And I'm going to use my gel plate. My nice grungy gel plate, which is actually not as grungy as it looks. That's actually just the um, the acrylic, the um, little acetate sheet that I have here. But it is nice and yellowy because I was using some alcohol ink on it. If you're going to use your, your gel plate for alcohol ink, I would say dedicate one gel plate for alcohol ink so that you're not staining multiple gel plates because I did that. I stained multiple gel plates. But good thing is I know where I can buy more. So... It's the store. Okay. And this is my very basic black paint from, ooh, ketchup sounds. Yes, we're going to see. I don't even know if this is good paint anymore, but this is from, you know, Hobby Lobby or it's Artist Lofts. Is that Hobby Lobby or Michaels? Michaels. Grunge it up with some black paint. Oh yes, there also has to be some singing because it is called Journal Jam. That's that's what Effie calls it. I don't know a better word than that. So um, so that's the word I'm going to use too. All right. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so interesting. Also, there's already some nice black paint in there. This is definitely more grungy. Mr. Whiskers doesn't appreciate that I'm doing this so and some of this paint is just not really coming back coming out as black can't tell if there's a shadow I apologize if there is a shadow I like to uh, use my brayer for for grunginess there um, you could use other parts but I think part of the fun part about brayer is that it doesn't make a it doesn't do a sw full swath of paint it's gonna be it's gonna be not perfectly a not perfect amount of paint like you could use a brush but it's gonna if you use a brush you're gonna get a lot more coverage and I just kind of want a random coverage here and then because my my gel plate has a little bit more paint here. Like I could do a little bit bigger bit of paint here. A little bigger paint bit. <laughs> a bigger bit. More like a stamp, okay? Let's get all the paint off of my gel plate pretty much. Oh, I probably should wear gloves. I don't know. I always end up with so much paint on my hands. It's crazy. Right. Can't tell if there's anybody else on, but that's okay. I'm just gonna keep working. If you're here, and I'm really sorry that I can't see any comments. Um, I just I can't see. I don't see any comments, so I assume that means nobody's here. All right, so I did some black, and that's good. Okay, so I grunged up with black. I could also do gesso. That would actually give it a different contrast. You know, I have a problem with white. 
I don't add enough white to my stuff. So should we add some white to see what happens? We could also do some tight and buff. That's a really good way to do, add a little bit of breathing space, um, as I like to call it, but not, um, not full on uh, white. It's not super, you know, Titan Buff is a kind of a creamy color. This is Titan Buff Deep. There's a couple of different ones. You could, I guess, I didn't even realize I had more than one. This is unbleached titan, titanium, so it's a little different. But they look very, actually, see, unbleached titanium and Titan Buff Deep, very similar, but, but not quite, but very similar. Also different brands. Okay, so since that one is, uh, that's white and it says wavy shapes. Ah, perfect. I'm gonna use a stencil from Dina Wakely. And let me just dry this just a little bit. Heat it up. We all like to watch paint dry, don't we? It's so fun. All right, so first we did grunge it up with some black. I just don't, I don't mind if the white smears I don't, or with the black. I think that would be kind of interesting. It would be made more of a gray, but for this point, we're just going to, all right, we're gonna add some wavy shapes by using a little makeup, Sponge, which has blue on it, but I don't think it'll do much because it's um, actually it might not do much of anything because the sponge is kind of hard. Okay, so this is we're gonna add some shapes. These are wavy. I consider this to be very wavy. And I have to admit, I'm not very good with my stencils. I don't clean them the way I should. So they get messy. And I've learned the hard way that if you have something with small holes in it and you don't clean your stencils, yes, they will get gunky and they will not work as well. Okay, so there's some white wavy shapes over there. Not exactly grunging it up, but it does, does provide a nice amount of contrast, doesn't it? I like this idea of using the lid from the gesso jar to actually get a little bit of the gesso out. And you can use white, but um, I like using gesso. I don't remember who I saw do this, where they use just the lid. But I've learned that you know, it depends, and I've said this before, but if you think about how it is that you're going to use the product, when you go to grab what it is that you're getting, look at how it comes. Like, does it come in a, in a jar with a big round lid with a wide mouth? Or does it come in a bottle where you can dispense it differently onto your project? And I don't understand why in the industry they, why matte medium comes in a jar with a big wide lid. I've seen it in bottles and I've actually started reusing a bottle that I have um, because I like having it in a bottle. It's easier to, in my opinion, to dispense it that way. I also don't understand why paint comes in a jar the way that it does sometimes. I think it's easier if it comes in a small in a tube or something that's easier to put that on. So just using up a little bit more of that gesso I have on my, on my thing, it's not going to be super dark or super, a huge amount of contrast there, but it's, it's a good, I wanted to try to pull the page together that way. Okay. So there's some white wavy lines that goes along with that one, wavy shapes. Might add some more later. Next one is, and see this, we could just keep going once we've 
done all of these, we can pull some more prompts if we have more time, which I think we will. All right, the next one is dots. So I could add some, how can I add dots? Let's see here. I could do another stencil. I wish I had pulled some colors. Um, this is one of my favorite stencils from Dina, but it's actually from the Crafters Workshop. It's kind of dots. What color should we use? Um, let's see. How about lime green? Because lime green is a nice bright color. It'll be a good contrast. Also partly because of this kind of inspired me to look at doing a lime green. So I'm gonna use a Dilutions. See, it comes in a little bottle. It's perfect. It's actually made to sit, sit up like that so that it's always easy to dispense. And um, let me find a little spongy sponge. These are sponges from the dollar store. This paint is a little bit thin, so just be aware of that. And I don't really know how to, how dark of a paint this is. I think it's rather translucent, so transparent, translucent. I don't think it's so hugely makes a lot of coverage. And the cool part about this is you can absolutely do this with just markers or pens if you want to. It doesn't have to be paint. There we go. I love the green. I love how that contrasts with it. I think that's really fun. All right, the next one, the next prompt is to add a word. Okay, let's see here. And I have more paint here, so let me find my other journal. If I still have some paint left on this palette. Sorry, Mr. Whiskers, you're gonna have to just hold my book for me for a minute. And first I'm just going to, and this my paint on my palette. He didn't really appreciate that I put my book on top of him. So there's a little bit of that paint coming off just to give it kind of a look. This is a Dilutions journal. I call it my mop it up journal. And because I still have some paint on my stencil, on my on my sponge here, I'm just gonna stencil this. There. Okay, set that to the side. Okay, let's see here. So now our next prompt is to add a word. All right, I like adding words. Let me see what I've got here. Okay. We have, I, I will uh, bend this rule a little bit and I'll say that I can add more than one word if I feel like it. I use that one a lot though. That's the one from um, from this set. I love me. I love those words, but I think I'm I'm not going to use those. 
Let me see what I've got in my... Sorry, I'm just looking through my... Um... Through all of my different options here. There's, you know, Dina Wakely. We love Dina. I think she has words. She has words we can't read. We did like the word spill and it's just white over the background and I am trying like that I was kind of interested about how this white shows up it doesn't always show I haven't ever used a white one she Dina suggests paint you can actually spray on the back of the collage paper with your gloss sprays which, by the way, we will have some new gloss sprays in the store very soon. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to get my updates done lately. I've been running around like crazy. Oh, I just think, do we like this? I don't know if it'll show up. But I kind of like the subtlety of it not showing up, too. go back with my um, white um, I can always go back with my white marker or pen you know Posca and go over it okay so there's my gel medium let me grab some uh, scraper I have a whole box of these these cards that come with your like advertisements for credit cards and things like that. And they're really good because they're junk that nobody cares about and you can just use them to apply all kinds of stuff. And it's a little late now, but I'm gonna put gloves on because that medium just, just kills my hands. It's not fun, it's not as tactile, but it is very messy to use matte medium, so. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if I can get any of it to come out. Maybe it dried in there. more somewhere. Where do I have more? I'll just use my other one. So I have um, this matte medium that's um, from the Tim Holtz multi-medium and I don't I need a thing to scoop it out hence my problem this is why I say I don't like always how things come out of the jars <laughs> I like bottles but this is thicker um it's meant for hefty kind of application I would say it's more like a glue but I'll just do it Okay. 
hopefully my gloves do not stick to the paper. So it got a little bit um, wrinkled, but I don't care. I think that's interesting. That adds interest. Oh, the page. Oh, look at all that gunk. Okay, so that pulled up all this paint, which is fine. And then now I have all this medium here. Actually, I'm going to Since I have this, let me add a little bit of There's another word. <laughs> Words that way, right? That works for the prompt, I think. So I know I it's not it's very different because it's not the same color, which kind of bothers me, but I'll fix that in a little bit. I'll go back and add some paint on it. Maybe the matte medium will be make it kind of dark. All right, I have about three minutes left and I really wanted to try, this is a coffee filter. Let's see what happens when I add this. Thought that would be kind of fun. It doesn't fit with anything, but you know. Not. We got the matte medium here. Um, when Jenny from Oops from Flow by Jenny, Jenny Grant, when she does her collage, she purposefully goes off the page, and I think that's very cool. And then what's cool is I really only like, I don't really like that it's got this rounded edge. So what if I just do it where I can, where it goes off the page and then I can trim that down. But I like that the coffee filter is thin enough that it adds a little bit of color, but it doesn't actually, you can still see the green dots underneath. So that's a bonus. I was wondering if that was going to happen. And it kind of plays well with the brown or the tan color from the thing, so from the book pages. I think that's about it. So there we go. I think um, we're gonna call this about done. And it has to dry a little bit, but I think it's good. So thanks for um, for coming along with me today. And if you're watching this on a replay, then thanks for watching the replay. And I hope that um, you have a good weekend or whatever day of the week it is you might be watching. <laughs> and uh, have fun. And always and remember that it's okay to play and, and make whatever you want. And sometimes it helps to just have some random words that you grab from a box. And then it helps you decide what you're going to do on the page that day. So thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you were able to join me for a little bit. I don't know how long you were on, but I'm glad you were able to join. Yeah, the blue and the purple, that was all part of the background when I first started. So it's always a building for another th another project later. So, all right, thanks so much. I'm gonna, oops, there's my timer. All right, bye.